Greetings from IAA in Munich, Germany. Now, IAA is typically held in Frankfurt, but for 2021, it's being held in Munich. Happens to be the hometown of BMW. I'm here as a guest of BMWs because they're hosting the Media First Drive event for both the i4 and the iX, the two upcoming all-electric vehicles from BMW. We're going to be doing extensive drives on those later this week. However, our driving impressions are going to be embargoed for a few weeks, so you're not going to get those till the end of September. Uh, but I am going to be able to comment about other aspects of the car, just not driving impressions. What I'm going to do now is take a walk around the show floor. Now, I saw there's some other interesting electric vehicles here, some that I think we haven't seen before. That's what I'm going to try to hit up. I'm not going to go over the vehicles that we all know and have seen. I'm going to try to pick a few that maybe are surprising and nobody's seen before and just do a quick overview of those. I only have about two hours, so there's not a lot of time to do a full auto show report. So like I said, I'm going to try to find some interesting, cool electric finds and talk a little bit about those. Of course, I'm going to talk about the i4 and the iX soon in some other videos and some written articles that I'll be posting up on Inside EVs. But for now, let's do this quick walk around and go over some of the cool things that I've seen. But first, don't forget, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. My first stop was the City One from Adaptive City Mobility, or ACM. It's a really cool little city car that's definitely tailored for Europe. So we probably won't ever see this thing in the U.S., but it's really cool and I wish we could. It's being targeted not only for individuals for personal use, but also for businesses like car sharing, taxi, and delivery services. It's unique in that it has a 16 kilowatt hour permanently mounted battery, but it also has a range extender option. But it's not an ICE engine. The range extender is actually four removable battery modules that slide into the floor of the cargo area. Each module is 2.5 kilowatt hour, so you can add an additional 10 kilowatt hour of battery if you'd like for a total of 26 kilowatt hour. You can charge those modules with the car um, or you remove them and charge them in these portable charging units. And when it's charged, you can also use these units uh, to offload power. They're kind of like portable power banks if you need them. Uh, this tiny car weighs only about 2,100 pounds. Now that's less than a thousand kilogram and it's good enough to power the city one between 185 and 225 miles if you use the additional 10 kilowatt hour of range extending batteries. If you don't, the vehicle itself will go between 125 and 150 miles per charge. The display had a short video that overviewed all of the car's features. Thought it was a good idea to record it so you could watch the whole thing. So take a look. Then I stumbled across this cool looking tiny two seat electric car, but I couldn't help but think I've seen something like this before. Mm, yeah, this is basically a BMW iSeta clone. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's exactly the same as a BMW iSeta that was made uh, from 53 to 61 under a few different brands. The Microlino is going to have a starting price of about $14,700 and three battery pack options, 6 kilowatt hour, 10.5 kilowatt hour, and 14 kilowatt hour with ranges of 60 miles, 110 miles, and 142 miles respectively. Now it needs to average about 10 miles per kilowatt hour to get that range and the fact that it only weighs about 1,100 pounds will definitely assist in 
its efficiency. It has a top speed of 56 miles an hour, that's 90 kilometers an hour, and you can reserve one now from the Microlino website. Right next to the Microlino was the Microletta, a three-wheel electric scooter with a retro look goes up to about 50 miles per hour, that's 80 kilometers an hour, has a range of about 60 miles, it's about 100 kilometers, and it comes with two removable batteries that you can take out and charge them at home or at your work if there's no place to conveniently plug it in in public. Next up, I checked out the AuraCat, which is the European version of the Good Cat made by Aura, which is the electric sub-brand of Great Wall Motors. It's supposed to be available later this year in the UK, starting at around $34,000. It has a 63 kilowatt hour battery with about 250 miles of driving range. The Aura Cat seats five and has 4G infotainment system with a 20.5 inch screen that incorporates both the driver's display and the center infotainment display. You may see a resemblance to some Porsche vehicles in the exterior styling, and that's because its designer is a former Porsche designer. Next up, let's take a look at the funky little City Transformer. It's only 92.5 inches long. That's more than a foot shorter than a Smart 4.2. Has a 14 kilowatt hour battery, and the company says that's good for somewhere between 62 and 93 miles of driving range. It'll recharge in three to four hours from a regular household socket, but they also say it can charge in 15 minutes using a DC fast charger. Now, the company is a Israeli startup, and they're going to begin a pilot program next year in Tel Aviv. If all goes well, that'll be followed by a European launch, but initially that's going to be held for car sharing services before they do a full consumer availability. They do say that they're gonna make it available in the US at some point. Uh, it will be classified as a neighborhood electric vehicle. It has a top speed of 56 miles an hour, uh, but that will have to be restricted in the US because I think the neighborhood electric vehicles aren't allowed to go quite that fast. Uh, but in any event, they do say they have their sights set on the US market eventually. One of the coolest features of this EV is that it has an expandable wheelbase. You can widen its stance when you're driving on roads at higher speeds, and then you can retract the wheelbase when you're driving on city streets and also to squeeze into tight parking spaces. And from the, you'll never see this thing riding on any street category, this giant limousine type vehicle from Way. Um, Interesting. I think I'd love to ride in this thing. It probably would be super cool. It looks like they borrowed this driver's display from Byton, uh, but um, I don't think we're ever going to see this on any roads. It was so huge. I don't know what roads it would fit on. Certainly wouldn't fit on tiny European streets or many streets in China. One of the things that I found particularly promising was as I walked around the show floor, there were so many EV charging equipment companies. They were everywhere. And that is a good sign because that really shows that investments getting put into these more and more companies are coming out with better charging equipment. And that's just good for the industry in general. Since BMW sponsored my trip to IAA, I feel like I need to give them a little love. And with that, Let's take a look at the BMW i Circular concept. Now, BMW tells us they want to be the most sustainable premium automaker. And to demonstrate that, they introduced the BMW i Circular concept, which is a five-door hatchback with coach doors, not unlike the soon-to-be phased-out i3. Now, the BMW i Circular concept is not going to go into production, and that's too bad because I think it would be a cool follow-up to the i3. The purpose of the vehicle is really to show what they can do with regards to recycled materials. The entire vehicle is made of recycled materials, and it's also made to be 100% recycled at its end of life. BMW also unveiled two electric bicycles and an all-electric motorbike. 
The bicycles have a large two kilowatt hour battery pack and can go nearly 200 miles per charge in their most efficient drive mode. However, these are just concepts with no hard plans to put any of them into production. So that's it for my 2021 IAA overview. I hope you found some of the unique electric vehicles I talked about here interesting. Keep an eye out for my full driving reviews on both the BMW iX and i4. My driving impressions are currently under embargo, so we can't talk about that now, but I have some videos coming up soon on both of these vehicles, and you're not going to want to miss them. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.